Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today, we're gonna talk about the web returns. Back in October, I did a top five, top 10 list for uh, scariest tricks that you could do at Halloween and the web returns was one of them because uh, this is a classic. This is a classic, been around for a very long time. Uh, the creator, uh, when they made this, uh, it, it was one of the scariest tricks you could do. If you ever said, hey, I wanna do something scary or I wanna do something that makes people scream or I wanna do something for Halloween, the web was right up there. And uh, it kind of sold out and it was harder to find. The creator was indisposed unable to <laughs> continue to manufacture. And so good news, Murphy's Magic has picked it up and remade it. So not only are you getting brand new cards and more cards than before, there's some cool alternate ending cards in there, but you're also getting a new, fuzzier, more three-dimensional spider. And you'll get some extra parts to repair your spider if you ever need to. And you'll get a brand new tutorial from Javier Fuemir and Murphy's Magic. All right, so let's say you pay $13 to your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. What are you gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get the box. Inside that, you're gonna get the five gaff cards. It's everything you need, plus extra cards uh, for your alternate endings. You'll get a full spider and an extra spider body, and you'll get access to the 25 minute tutorial. Is it what I thought? Yes, it is the classic, the web. So if you've purchased the web before, or yours is getting a little run down, right? You feel like your cards have seen They've seen their day. They've seen they've seen enough action. They've seen plenty of Halloweens. Uh, you'll fall right into this. You know, the, the, there's nothing new here as far as the way the trick went classically, and they will teach you the classic handling. Uh, the cards are well made. The spider's well made. You'll even get some little tacky uh, so that you can uh, put it on the back of someone's hand. As far as the overall quality and production value of the video, you got Jav Javier Fuemir. He's in the Murphy's Magic Studio. He's going to go over everything you need to know. Uh, the video, he'll talk about what you get. There'll be a studio performance. He'll rush you through the alternate ending. He'll then cover the main routine and the explanation for it. And then he'll talk a little bit, give you some notes about how to put the spider on the back of their hand slyly so they don't feel it. Then he'll give you a full alternate performance with a full alternate explanation. He'll cover some tips and tricks, and then there's a thank you. Pocket space, it's all very small products. Um, just a handful of cards, just five cards, and you don't even need to take all five. Uh, you can keep them in a little vinyl wallet or you just keep it in your front pocket and you're good to go. The spider doesn't take up any much space, uh, very much space. You can keep that off in a side pocket or a top breast coat pocket. You know, it's, it'll, be, it'll be easy to bring out. It's a great opener or a great closer. So angles wise, everything's covered by the spectator's hands. Uh, just make sure that they're ready to engage in a magic trick. You don't want to walk up to somebody if they've got drinks and, you know, a burger and a tray and stuff in their hand. <laughs> they need their hands out. They need their hands ready uh, to do a trick. But uh, everything's inspectable at the end, right? The, the, the spider, there's nothing to it. I mean, it's just, they'll know it's fake and they know it's stuck to the back of your hands. They're not going to, this isn't a real spider. Of course. Uh, and they almost know it's coming. <laughs> like the way it's set up and the way your patter goes, as soon as they turn their hand over, they're kind of expecting it. And then when they see it, uh, you just get these big, huge reactions. And so it plays good for all ages, plays good for both genders. Um, yeah, it's, it's really super fun. And as far as Difficulty level, it's not hard at all. The slights in it are very minimal. Even if you were a beginner, you can pick this up pretty easy. Of course, you could add your own slights if you wanted to make it more difficult, but I don't think the trick is that, it's not that kind of trick. <laughs> it's not that kind of trick where you need to overthink it. It's really done for fun and levity and shock value and just humor and just, you know, uh, it, it is what it is. And so I don't think you, yeah, I don't think you need to overthink it very much. Positives, it's so great that Murphy's re-released this because I know it gets brought up every year at Halloween time. It gets brought up whenever somebody says, hey, I want to do something spooky or I want to make people scream or I want to make people jump or get great reactions. Somebody will always recommend the web. So it's good that it's now available and at such an inexpensive price, 13 bucks, can't go wrong. Negatives, I guess the only negatives is maybe some of the history that surrounded the trick initially. Um, the creator is credited on the box, I noticed. And so that's as much as I want to even say. So uh, big, huge thanks to Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this. You can pick it up for $13 at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. 
I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid friendly where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like, subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.